Good morning, family. How are you? Jazzy and family. 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 I want to welcome you in my life. Come over to my channel and subscribe. All we do is have a good time. All we do is spread those good vibes. Yeah. Jazzy and family. Jazzy and family. Jazzy and family. got some food around my mouth or whatever um say hey say hey so the girls didn't have school today and Alyssa has a dentist appointment today we just went to drop Carter off to school we had fun last night right oh did y'all stay up to watch the movie no no I did wow I stayed up at like three o'clock I paid for that movie I stayed up until three o'clock we'll go back to it again no, mm. I stayed up until 3 o'clock. I That's was with crazy. Cairo. So I'm we're about home. to take Alyssa to the dentist to get her braces tightened. And then I'm going to take the kids to get some frozen yogurt. Or y'all want 7-Eleven because y'all not getting both. Which one? 7-Eleven. No, frozen yogurt. I need that. I'm on a slim gym. So y'all want 7-Eleven. Me and Kayla want frozen yogurt. So don't ask for no frozen yogurt when we get in the frozen yogurt place. Because then you don't get nothing from 7-Eleven. So I get anything from no no you don't so Memo that's what we're about to do let's call the uber let's get to it we need to take i'm told that we take a bird i told them we taking the train back home no i'm used to that no i'm about to take the train no I take the train all i'm not taking the train whole week no i'm From not taking it i'm that, not taking that the train uber is like, like the train that uber is like 40 dollars let's take the train to Kaiser it is like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why me you and carter got on the train Alyssa? yeah then we took it to Kaiser stop show did show show the hell did can we do that no all right come on let's go We'll see you guys at the dentist. Like FMAK is the squad. Got our mommy going hard. We love our father, we love God. Can't believe we made it this far. Mm -hmm. You want raises too? Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah. Hey. You can stop. Hi, baby. Okay, let me see. Show your new braces color. Come on, silly. Don't step on Guys, baby. It's cold, right? Okay, guys, so do you want. Who wants 7 Eleven? And who wants frozen yogurt? It's so cold for frozen yogurt. Oh, okay. You still want frozen yogurt? <laughs> It's like freezing. You cold, girl? Okay, we about to go. I don't know how I got so extremely sleepy, but now I'm exhausted. And I'm about to take the kids to 7-Eleven. And then I'm going to take them home. And then I have to run the Optimum because I have to change the modem. Then I have to run the Apple to get my phone fixed. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this is so Come on. Mommy, you know you it's don't have winter. to do a lot. We could just like. You wanna go get right over? Y'all wanna go to the library? Yeah, that's good. Cool. Do y'all? I, I like books. I, I like books. I, I wanna go to the library. Yes, I do. I do. Um, we, me I'm and Kyra. I told her it was nasty. Okay, so the days just be going by so fast. After Alyssa came from the dentist, everybody was just famished. I cooked, they went to sleep, and I just took everybody to school. Honestly, look at me. I'm literally always dressed in a pair of black leggings and a big t-shirt and some Crocs. That is my everyday attire all the time. <laughs> it is truly ridiculous and sad you wouldn't believe how many of these big sweaters i have and how many pairs of black leggings i have so i dropped the kids to school and i had to go get some stuff for the linen closet because 
things just go so quickly in this household. Um, believe it or not, the cheapest cleaning products that I find is either at Family Dollar or at my local grocery store. Family Dollar is far, so I can't just be getting up going there. So instead of me going to my discount store, I go to the supermarket. The supermarket usually have cheaper items. So I just went and bought some Ajax. I bought some more dish liquid. Um, I bought some cleaning spray for the bathroom. I bought cleaning spray for the kitchen. And I really love this. Usually I'll buy a lot of these when I catch them on sale. But these wasn't on sale. They're usually two for five dollars, but they was three forty nine. So I only bought one, but I love cleaning with this. And I got some more sponges because I change these sponges every week. I don't know what it is. It's something about these sponges. I just I, I change them. I can't tolerate it. Mom house, you always have like this really old sponge doing dishes. It pisses me off. But oh yeah, I also got garbage bags. I don't know if there's a shortage of garbage bags or not, but get it together because I cannot use these. These was the, I've been trying to get the right garbage bags for like three weeks now and I end up just ordering it off Amazon. I can't use this. I don't like this. I like the Force Flex Febreze. Those are the trash bags I use. I cannot get jiggy with this, but this is the only trash bags they had and we ran out of trash bags. So I'm about to order in bulk off Amazon. I think it's like a shortage of certain things because it's just not there anymore. And then later on, when the discount store open, I got to go buy pads, panty liners, deodorant, stuff of that sort. I need to be a stripper at this point because this is just a lot. While the kids are in school, I'm going to get dinner started. I'm going to put on my turkey wings now. So by the time the kids get out of school, dinner will be done. After the turkey wings get done, I never went to Octavum yesterday. So I have to go up there because our modem doesn't work. Um, you may have cable that's expensive okay i have three rooms the living room and the two bedrooms that i will have to put cable in i had cable before the bill was always like 323 three days i said i cannot afford this so i just pay for wi-fi and i use fire tv for every room and it, it's been working for um 10 years for me but for some reason the modem blew out so we have no wi-fi which is devastating De you would not realize how much things you cannot do without Wi-Fi. Like, it is devastating. And I have to go all the way to the Optimum store, which is in fucking West Bubble, just to trade in these modems. So, I have to eventually make it there. I would have been there if it isn't so far. The Uber is like 50 something dollars to get there. So, that's why I've been dragging my feet on getting there. So, yesterday we had no wi-fi i had to use the hot spot on my phone to hook it up so the kids could watch tv because they act like they was dying <sighs> wait i was just eating came across this video on my phone that i took yesterday made my emotions get in an uproar again let me tell y'all mm, father god when i talk about it my blood boiling yesterday First of all, God is good. Because if I wasn't with my kids, I would have been in jail. Yesterday, I picked my kids up. We in a Chinese restaurant because I was like, no, I'm not going to cook. I'm going to get them something to eat. While we in the Chinese restaurant, school let out. It's a really bad high school right here. School let out. All these little kids, little girl come. It's like a Spanish girl, black girl. They come in Spanish girl tying up her hair. And the black girl like, yeah, I'm going to record this shit. I'm going to record this shit. And the Spanish girl like, yeah, make sure you get the good angles. I'm about to be her ass. Mind you, I'm a mother before I'm anything. I text 911 because I didn't want to call. First of all, not the police was on the next corner, literally across the street. But I text 911. Here's what I text them. Right? I text 911. Because I seen what was about to happen. These little girls was in there. And then their little friends was on the side. And the friends was like, yeah, we going to jump up. Da -da -da -da. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I took my kids. I pushed them in the corner. Just in case I got to kill one of these little kids. So I pushed them in the corner. 
And I'm like, and the little girl like, yeah, she coming down the block right now. All her little friends, it had to be about 40 of them. The little girl turned the corner, innocent. She looked like a baby. She has her hijab on. The little girl runs out, pulls her hijab off her head, starts stomping her head into the floor. Everybody, oh, recording all these adults. I lost my mind. I lost my mind. Thank God I was with my kids. I said, y'all, all y'all adults going to stand here. Y'all going to stand here and y'all going to watch this? Y'all the problem with this community. Y'all standing here watching. Can none of these kids out here be y'all? I say y'all lucky I got my kids. Because if I ain't have my kids, I would have fought your little ass. You know why? Because this little girl, uh, matter of fact, you need to go to jail. You need to go to jail for a hate crime. How dare you do that to this baby? Are you crazy? I said, y'all, you adults should be ashamed of yourself. This could have been your child. And y'all the problem with this community. Because y'all standing here watching these, these kids jump this baby. And instead of y'all doing something, you standing here looking at it. Now, if this was your child, how would you feel? None of y'all going to say nothing. Nobody's going to do nothing. I said, come on, take this little girl with me. And I walked her to the corner to the police. I said, if I knew where you lived, I would have took you home to your mother. I would have told your mother fire each and every one of them who did it and charge each and every one of them with a hate crime. If this was my, I told them, yo, y'all lucky. Y'all lucky I'm with my kids because I would have gave it. Y'all, they would have had to arrest me because I would have gave little girl this work. You needed that ass whooped. I said, yo, the, this generation is so crazy. You know why this neighborhood is so fucked up? Because of the people here. Y'all really standing here watching this? You are a mother. You have children. You're a father. And y'all standing here watching these little girls beat on this baby like this? My blood was boiling. Do you hear me? I said, Lord have mercy on my soul. Have mercy. I, I was like, I was walking down the block going off, still yelling. I was like, I hope you go to jail for a hate crime. And each and every one of y'all that watched it and recorded it, I hope y'all go to jail. Y'all deserve jail time. Little girl was crying, blood coming down her face. Her hijab is all off, hair out. I was like, yo, this is disgusting. And then when I dropped it to the police car, the motherfuckers followed her to fight her again. I said, mm, mm, couldn't have been mine. Cut, I'm going to kill you when I'm done with you. I said, yo, I was so angry. And if I wasn't with my kids, I would have been in jail because I would have jumped in. I would have snatched her up by the ponytail and ragged her right off her and then told her, take me to your mother now. Because even your mother going to justify your actions, I'm going to beat your mother ass for raising you. Girl, <sighs> get me out of here. Get me out of here. I said, son, this is why this community is shit. Because keep it real, East New York is one of the worst neighborhoods in Brooklyn. One of the, This is one of the worst neighborhoods you could ever live in. But it's a beautiful place. It's the people who make it shitty. Number one, you know how many times we had community meetings and I told them, remove the methadone clinic. They have a methadone clinic on a corner. And when you walk outside, it's like the land of zombies. Everybody leaned over doing the dope fiend lean, not touching the floor. Niggas nose be touching that concrete. They won't fall. Crackheads up from corner and corner. When you walk down the strip of my block, you would think, what the fuck is this? It's like a war zone crackheads leaning over drug dealers it's the most disgusting thing you can see but it's not a bad place it's the people that make it so all y'all gotta do is move that methadone clinic have more police presence clean this neighborhood up give these children something to do y'all got a liquor store a laundromat a chinese restaurant a corner store beauty supply nail salon on every where's the community center where's the after school program where's the learning arts program we will we, give these children something to do that's why they out here fighting bitch they don't have nothing else to do besides go to the liquor store if they want or the corner store get a sandwich give them something productive to do this community would not i've been here my whole life it does not have to be this way
but it's okay because they put that little brooklyn blends up snippety per snippety little cafe on that corner guess what they're gonna start tearing stuff down and they're gonna start adding <laughs> You know, you know what's coming. The price is going to go up. They're going to run you out. Hmm. There's going to be a lot of people walk around with their little puffy dogs, bitch, soon. And you ain't going to have nowhere to go. Because guess what? East New York is the only affordable neighborhood left in Brooklyn. And if you want to call this affordable, this is the only neighborhood left. And they driving you out of here now. So once this is gone, Brooklyn is going to be like Manhattan. A land of the wonders. What? Where we gonna go? Cause we ain't gonna be able to afford it. Girl. Anyway, I had to share that with y'all because bitch, I was God was on my side. Cause the one thing I can't tolerate is that I am a mother. I will murder you for my children. I who I, I, I bitch. I, 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 I felt it. I wanted to beat her up so bad, bitch. I wanted to take her. Bitch, get the fuck. Oh, she lucky. So I just finished cleaning my turkey wings and I'm about to get them seasoned. You know what's a dream of mine? A dream of mine is when I move to get like a seasoning rack. Because this is ghetto. This is the ghetto. But I'm about to season these turkey wings. So now I'm going to put my turkey wings in the oven for three hours. Y'all know I just got time today. Because usually when I'm in a rush, I make my turkey wings on the stove top. Because who really got time for that? So I'm going to link the link. <laughs> I'm going to list the link in the description box below on a quicker way to make it. But I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 because black people cook everything at 350. We don't even read instructions. 350 it is in the oven for three hours. We're sick together, we're forever. There's no one